Hi guys, this is Richard Beck. I want to take a moment to talk about the Bex Armory machine torch holder that we are now offering. So, is what you get with this kit is you get two line lasers, you get a, a bolt here to replace your thumb screw, you get a waterproof cover for your switch, a switch, you get 14 feet of wire and a battery pack. So, is what this allows you to do is very easily line up your machine torch head with the corner of your work or the center of your work or wherever you want to line up you will have a line that is perpendicular um, with the your torch in both the x and the y axis so this is a really great upgrade it's going to save you a lot of time and give you a competitive edge against other people who don't have laser alignment machine torch holders also this works with your Langmuir Systems Crossfire Pro, your Langmuir Systems Crossfire Original, and it works with the XR. Now, one key takeaway, this is not a universal torch holder. So for us to keep these lasers lined up with the center, we cannot have a V-block because then the, the center would change depending on the diameter of your torch. Also, V-block... Uh, Locators put highly concentrated stress loads in four corners, which causes your torch to be misshapen and can even damage your torch. This puts even pressure all the way around, um, allowing you to clamp on the lower portion of your torch. And that basically makes your torch last a lot longer and it reduces the risk of damage to your machine torch. So because of that, you do need to select the correct diameter from the drop down menu on the website. Now this works for the uh, Duramax torch, it works for the Everlast torches, it works for the Prime uh, welder torches. So there are a really wide variety of torches this works with. On the website I do have a list of all the torches and their sizes. That way if you don't know what your torch size is, just scroll down on the page and um, you can check to see uh, which diameter is compatible with your torch. To install your torch mount holder, um, it's key not to over tighten um, the torch mount. So the goal is place your torch so that way you can easily move it back and forth and then just right about there it starts holding snug so right, you know, when, it, when I'm no longer easily twisting it, and I'm just tightening with two fingers, now I take the wrench and I go a quarter of a turn. That's it. So the bottom, that's all the tighter you want. The top, you can tighten down uh, more, but I would, I would only use this part of the wrench. I would not go like this and crank it down. It really doesn't need to be that tight. We are gripping all the way around this diameter. We're not just gripping in four spots. So we have substantially more grip with less pressure. That's the whole point of this torch mount. Then you put your lasers in and um, they should be like this so they intersect the pierce point. And you simply, you also don't need to crush these. You can loosen it and then you, you, know, you get that dialed in. Um, on something you know is square with the world. And then you just give it a little. Once you get that lined up, you should be able to tighten it like this with two fingers. You shouldn't have to crush it. If you crush it, well, <laughs> I would advise not doing that. Now, you route your wires up all the way around through the tube, and then you put your switch in the corner. Or you want, you can mount your switch somewhere close by. But I give you 14 feet of cable so you can fully route the switch. If you have any questions, guys, I'll leave a link in this uh, video in the description to this product on the website. If you're watching this video on the website, well, you're already here. Um, you can email questions to richard at bexarmory.com, and I'll be happy to answer those. Thanks.